Hi, so what I've done here is I have a wireless adapter here on my laptop and this wireless adapter is connected to Xfinity Wi-Fi and what I'm going to do is use this laptop or it could also be a desktop as a cable modem such that when I attach this router to this laptop all my other devices, my my tablet, my phone, and everything else, other laptops and other people using a bunch of laptops can go through this router using my own personal network name, router name, and password. Go through this router, connect it to this laptop or desktop, and have the traffic, internet traffic, flow through one Xfinity Wi-Fi connection. Um, thus sharing a bunch of devices on my own personal router with my own personal uh, password. So let me show you how to do that. So first I'm going to show you how to connect the router to the laptop and then what I'm going to show you is actually how to configure everything on the laptop itself such that uh, you know your wireless connection and the wired connection uh, can turn your laptop or desktop basically into a cable modem. So uh, let me go ahead first and show you the router itself. So this is just your normal router. This is a old used router. Um, it's one of the more reliable ones as far as signal strength and it doesn't drop the signals. So this one is a good brand to get. Uh, these days you probably get this for 50 bucks. And everything I have here by the way I am going to have in the description area of the video. So the first thing I want to do is log on to this router and actually configure the settings in the router. So you notice here I have it plugged into one of the normal switches so I could log into the router and in the computer here, whether it's a desktop or laptop, I have it plugged into the wired cable. And I'm going to log in and show you what I'm going to do to configure it. So a couple of things to notice here first is I do not have a uh, a connection here in my wireless connection yet so this has uh, basically been unconnected or disabled so what I'm going to do here is uh, I want to show you the connection so I am going to go into Windows Explorer I'm going to type in control panel and where there is network and internet I'm going to click on that I'm going to click on view network status I'm going to click on adapter settings and you'll notice I have a wired connection here and that is connected and I also have the wireless so this connection here this wired connection is connected to my router right now so I'm gonna go in a browser and I'm gonna type in usually it's 192.168.1.1 1 .1. um, now this should be written uh, somewhere on the router what I'm logging into is actually the admin console so you notice in the admin console what I want to do is uh, click on setup and normally this would be DHCP so what I want to do is choose static IP in the choice here usually this will be on the main screen of most routers and what I'm going to do is for the IP address of the router itself I am going to type in 192.168.188.2 so this is going to be the IP address of the internet port of my router. So you'll notice here the router itself, the address is 192.168.1.1, which is how I was able to log in. Now the gateway of this network would be 192.168.188.2, so type that in. For network mass, type in 255.255.255.0. And then for the gateway, type in 192.168.188 and 1. And uh, just keep that in mind as you're setting this up because in the next step I'll show you why this is 192.168.188 and 1. And you'll notice with the DNS, you could put 75, 75, 75, 75. And then secondary DNS, put in 75, 75, 76, 76. Now you'll notice also in my wireless, I renamed my wireless to be Serenity. Now your router might be a little bit different as far as the settings, but this is a very a typical, all typical settings for every router here. 
the biggest thing is really to put in static IP, um, which is usually sort of where you configure the modem. And keep in mind, I'm using my laptop sort of as the cable modem here as an analogy. So um, you would want to apply changes and save settings. So what I'm going to do is uh, save settings here. So the next thing I'm going to do is enable my Wi-Fi wi connection. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose my Xfinity Wi-Fi and I'm going to click connect. So now that you're connected to Xfinity Wi-Fi here, what you're going to do is right click on that and click properties on the Wi-Fi connection and click on the sharing tab. Click allow other network users to connect through this computer internet connection. I'm going to click OK. And what it'll do is on your wired connection here, it's going to assign an address. So I'm going to go into this is my wired connection. So I've right clicked on my wired connection. I'm going to click properties. I'm going to double click on this IP4. And this is actually not the IP address I want. Remember, I put in 188 in my browser. Or, or in my router settings and I am going to click OK and once I click OK this now will allow other people to connect through the router and use my uh, Xfinity Wi-Fi connection now remember to switch the cable so what I'm going to do here is switch the cable to the internet so now I'm going to go back to the router and you'll notice my plug is right here. I'm going to take this plug, unplug it, and plug it into the internet plug. And now everybody can log on to this router. Remember I named my router here Serenity. So uh, just for the users connecting via Serenity, putting in the password, and now this with the laptop or desktop on, the users will flow through here and go through my Wi-Fi connection here, my wireless connection here, which is connected to Xfinity Wi-Fi. And that's really it. That's how you basically turn your desktop or laptop as an access point uh, using a router and going through uh, you know, one connection. I hope this helps and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching. So notice now I am on my tablet and I am connected to Serenity, which is what I named that router. I've put in the username and password. And if I go right to a browser, you'll notice I'm connected and using this router and going through this laptop and following it through this wireless connection. So I hope this helps and please subscribe and thank you for watching.